Hi, this is Carl Brown from Guitar Lessons 365.com with a guitar lesson series for Jelly Note. Now in this lesson, we're going to add a couple of more chords to our arsenal, including an E minor chord and a C major 7th chord. Now while we're doing this, we're going to learn how to play Zombie by the Cranberries. Now make sure you click the link in the video's description to find the interactive tab that goes with this lesson. Now, Jelly Note is a great website with thousands of interactive tabs and sheet music in sync with videos just like this one. So check it out. All right, so first let's take a look at the chords that we need to learn for this song. Let's start here with the E minor chord. We're going to start here with just, you'll look at the, uh, the interactive tab here, and you'll see that we have a very easy chord to play compared to the ones we've learned already. Um, it just requires me to do uh, the low E open, or we started the high E open, open B, open G, second fret on the D, second fret on the A, and the low E. So, with that, we have our E minor chord. Now I'm going to go to the second chord in the progression, and you'll see that it's a C major seventh chord. So, what is that? Well, it's just a C major chord that we've already learned. All you have to do now is pick up your first finger. It's a really nice sounding chord. So from C major, just to C major seventh. So we have the E minor to that chord. All right, now we're not gonna worry, really worry about the names of the chords from here on out. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two fingers and you'll see the next chord we're gonna move up one string each. So now it's the third fret on the low E string and then the fifth fret, I mean, I'm sorry, the second fret on the A string or the fifth string. So we have this. So it's kind of like that G major, but we're going to have the high E string open there. So technically you could call that um, a G major six chord. And now we get to the easiest chord to play in the song, yet the hardest to say. <laughs> so all it's going to be is this second fret on the low E string, and all the other strings are open. Now you'll see this thing analyzed many different ways. Trust me, they're not analyzing when they play it. They just thought it sounded cool to have all the strings open and the second fret there. So what it's, you could really call it is a D13 chord, or uh, a D major 13 chord, or, or a D dominant 13 chord, with F sharp in the bass. So basically first inversion. But that doesn't matter. So that is, it's really, we're just trying to get uh, some basic chords underneath your fingers. So, and that one's really easy to play. So we'll start here, E minor, C major seven, The G major six, don't worry about that name either. Just worry about how it's played. And then we have that D chord. So here we go. Now, the cool thing about this, you can pretty much do it all with downstrokes. So we just have this. Eight downstrokes. Eight downstrokes. Eight downstrokes and eight downstrokes, and repeat. Now, once again, like we did, we talked about before, when you're changing to the next chord, you can throw an upstroke in there to kind of fill the space while you're going. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and. So it gives you time to reach that next chord. And you can do that on all the changes. You'll hear them do that on the recording as well. Obviously they kick in some distortion.
but it's the same chords with the distortion. And then just kind of really uh, do a really light dynamics and you'll see some guitar solos. But those four chords really kind of go for the entire song. So they're really the foundation of the song. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you check out Jelly Note for thousands of interactive tabs uh, for other songs, including this one, if you want the interactive tab to go along with this video. I'll see you there.